Well, I received an email from uh, Region 12 Service Center, which you know, you know works directly for TEA, uh, Friday afternoon, and uh, Region 12 has calculated the preliminary accountability ratings for the elementary and middle school. Uh, the elementary school is going to be very, very close. It's going to miss it by 1.8 points. Uh, so that's it made a lot of improvement, but it's still going to be improvement required. However, the middle school, which has also been improvement required for a very long time, uh, is calculated to make accountability, state accountability. Uh, that the high school has made it for the past two years. The scores were as good or better this year than they had were in the previous two years. So the uh, high school will make it. High school, middle school makes it. Elementary barely misses. That means the district should be in pretty good shape. I mean, the actual results won't come out until August, uh, but the preliminaries are based upon um, the same formulas. I mean, Region 12 has the same formulas that TEA is going to be using. Um, so, I mean, I, if anything, I would, th I would think the scores would go up slightly because, like I said, there are some children who took the test that there were problems with the test, and because of those problems, the, the state has said their scores will not be counted towards accountability. Uh, Region 12 has no way of knowing who those particular children are. So... Um, uh, we know who they are, and the state knows who they are. So I'm still confident that elementary is so close that it can still work out. And really, you know, you say I missed about 1.8 points, but it rounds up. So the elementary had 58.2 points. You have to have 60 points to pass. Um, if you get 59.5, that's a pass. So really, 1.3 points away from getting to the roundup. That's not a lot of kids. For Marlin, there's been a dark cloud for you know, a long time. And there's we, we all know there's there seems to be people in the community that uh, a few that want to see Marlin fail and there's a whole lot that want to see it succeed and you know, we are going to succeed I mean I think this year you see the results are going to come in and uh, Marlin's I wouldn't say that we're, we're where we need to be we're not but I think we're going to be able to take a step back from the edge of the cliff finally um, and you know, keep working hard so there's some really bright spots and I'll give you another example in eighth grade we had 17 students who took uh, Algebra 1, High School Algebra 1. All 17 of them passed the uh, STAR EOC test for the state, uh, and two-thirds of those at the mastery level. So, you know, your the kids are getting a fantastic education at Marlin. We just had a long way to go with, with the kids who need the extra help. We're, we're finally got those systems in place. It's working. We should make it this year um, with the, the two campuses making it. Uh, and then elementary just barely made. and I still got some confidence the elementary can make it uh, it's so close and when you get the final number of kids in there uh, there were some testing problems so some of those kids or scores who, who failed will be removed because of testing uh, problems uh, on the uh, vendor side so it, it's so close that a couple of kids can make a difference you know the, the state calculates part A and part B you know, to get your total score and um we still where we're having the issues with elementary is to closing the performance gaps. Still, uh, that's where we were missed it by a little. But actually, on student uh, uh, improvement, we actually made standard on that. So the elementary this is very very close. It's never been this close uh, to making it. It got closer last year. It actually made some of the index uh, measurements last year, but not enough to pass. Um, but it's, it's it's getting better every year. And it's instruction in the classroom. You know, so the only thing I brought to, to Marlin was, you know, instructional systems in a, in a direction. The principals and the teacher, uh, they execute those instructional systems and they got very good at it. Um, and, and that combination of instructional systems and really high level execution of those instructional systems by principals and teachers in the classroom, that's it. That's all of it. You know, we're going to keep, you know, getting better and better at executing our instructional systems that we put in place. Uh, it's working. It's moving the district in the right direction. It hasn't been easy. Uh, it's required, you know, a lot of sacrifices. I know that we've we've all lived through those together. But uh, at the end, it's working. What we're doing is working. The school's improving, and uh, that's really the best outcome for Marlin ISD and the community of Marlin in Falls County. Over the last three years, we've probably spent seven hundred thousand dollars.